Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Heretic Shadow of the Servant Riders. This game was released in 1994 by Raven Software, which was kind of an offshoot of id Software, the same id Software that created Doom. And as you can see in the credits, the executive producer was John Romero and 3D Engine was by John Carmack. So it's going to be pretty much the same engine of Doom, but there are a few enhancements, which we'll go over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select a new game and you can't see it right now. Now you can see it. There are five episodes in Shadow of the Serpent Riders. And we're going to choose the first one, City of the Damned, and we're going to go to the first level in that. And we're going to choose, which is equivalent to Ultraviolence, Thou Art Smite Meister. And let's go to the first level, which is the docks. See here, there's a little dock area here. What I want to do is I'm going to get as much ammunition and wand crystals as I can. And let's start taking care of these guys. These are gargoyles, they can fly. This is the first enemy that you're introduced into in Heretic. But they're not too difficult. But they can get you in large numbers. And they can, again, fly. So they can go just about anywhere on the map. And these levels have a nice medieval design to them, all of the levels. But they're pretty creatively done, and I like the architecture too, too as well. Alright, let's take care of this. There's also a secret by back here, by the way. And here we get a silver shield, which takes our armor up to 100. Now just like Doom, armor is useful because the higher your armor value is, the less damage you'll take overall. This is our second enemy, the Golem. They're not too bright. They're pretty much a melee attack, and I know there's a golem behind me, and I'm not really worried too much about him. There we go. So that's pretty much it. Let's keep going. Let's take care of this gargoyle first. And you can see here's kind of a special area. Well, yes, it's a secret. Here we get our chainsaw, or anyways, what Heretic's version of the chainsaw is, the gauntlets of the necromancer. This is an infinite use item, and what it does is it's a short range item that electrocutes enemies. And a lot of these enemies have a high pain chance, which means that they can't attack if you're attacking them, so use that to your advantage. If we go up here. There are a few golems up here. And keep moving if you're attacked by golems. Gargoyles will try to flank you, but it's not too bad. And here we have a, another area we'll, we'll look at later. There's a lot of items here, so hint, hint, we can go over there eventually. What I want to do now is, you see this little texture that's a little different? Well, that's another secret. Just like Doom, most of the secret areas here are marked by different textures. And here's our first item. Items are different in Heretic compared to Doom because you can save them for later. Just hit your bracket keys and access the inventory. You can access these items throughout the entire episode. You don't have to use them in the first level. The first item that we got, by the way, is a Tome of Power. And what that does is it makes your attacks a lot stronger. And I'll display that later, but I'm not going to waste it right now. I'm going to wait for these gargoyles to come to me. They're pretty dumb. They'll walk right into your attack. So that's not too bad. I'm going to go back up here. Because that, where that switch was, it opens up another area. But before we go there, I'm going to go this way. Because I'd like to pick up a few more things before we go there. Namely this, which is the Ethereal Crossbow. It's kind of like our shotgun, if you've played Doom. It's a very useful weapon. 
and I like it a lot. Let's go down here because there was an area that opened up here. And don't worry about our health too much in this episode. Or sorry, in this um, in this level, because there are plenty of health potions. Later on, it may be more difficult to stay at full health. And this is a new addition to Heretic 2. This sector will actually move you. And there are different sector types, the different directions that can move you in different directions. And sometimes it's water, sometimes it might be wind or something else. So that's pretty interesting. Make sure we get everything here. Yeah, I want to get some more ammunition. There we go. And I may not fly through the level that quickly. I may show off some things and slow down gameplay quite a bit. And if I do that, then bear with me. Alright, and I'm trying to see if we need to take care of anything else. By the way, we have a map, and the map will show us where we are in the level, how many monsters we've got, and how many secrets are remaining. I am playing, by the way, a GL port of Z-Doom, and I would recommend this port if you want to play the game, because the resolution's a lot better, the textures are more refined with OpenGL, and it's easier to see things. There is also a high te um, there's also a high resolution texture pack for this game in GZ Doom, but I don't like it. And let's take a look here. We've got all the monsters, all the secrets, and I think this wraps up this level. So thank you so much for watching. Let's play Heretic and let's see how we did. Great. I'm going to try to get 100% kills and secrets as much as possible. Items not so much. So thank you so much for watching. The docs on Let's Play Heretic, and on the next episode, we're going to be taking care of the dungeons. Have a good day!